happily humming while preparing another batch of the nasty patty. Hey, Mr. Krabs, I was thinking we should at Friday on Friday. What? Are you out of your mind, SpongeBob? We can't afford to it another day to our already busy schedule. Yeah, who's going to make all those fries? Oh, come on, guys. It'll be great for business. Plus, if customers buy a Krabby Patty, they get free medium fries. Free? Do you know how much that will cost us in free supplies? But think about it. Mr. Krabs, if we have a special day just for fries, people will come from all over Bikini Bottom to try them? Um, I don't know. Oh, please. Like anyone would actually care about a stupid Friday. But what if they do? And what if we make so much profit that we can finally afford that new spatula I've been eyeing? All right, fine. But only this whole scenario because I want that extra profit. 666 more dollars than any other day. That's insane. Wow, SpongeBob looks like you're already really paid off. Did you hear that? SpongeBob, you're calling it Nissan Friday. See, I told you it would be a hit. All right. Ah, oh, joy, just what I always wanted. A weekly Friday. Perch, what do you want to talk about today? Well, Bubble Bunny, I wanted to congratulate you on all your accomplishments and scientific honors. You truly are a genius. Oh, thank you. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's all worth it. And now that you've won the Nobel Peace Prize, do you have any plans for the future? Um, I haven't really thought about it. Maybe I'll take a vacation or something. That sounds nice. And I just wanted to thank you for your years of public service. You've done so much for our community. No problem at all. It's my duty as a scientist and citizen of Rock Bottom with... Speaking of duties, do you regret having to kill SpongeBob? Regret? Are you kidding me? That little yellow sponge was nothing but trouble. He deserved what he got. Wow, that's pretty harsh coming from someone like yourself. Hey, I call it like I see it. And SpongeBob was nothing but an annoying pest who needed to be taken care of. Right? Well, moving on from that topic. Would you like to sniff some cocaine with me after this interview? What? No, you, that stuff is dangerous and illegal. Oh, come on, Bubble Bitch. Live a little. How do you speak to me like that? This interview is over. Well, that didn't go as plain. That did tell it did it. Hello, Squidward. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scratch your car. You didn't mean to scratch it. Are you kidding me? That's my 2006 Honda Civic, you idiot. I know, I know. It was an accident. Please don't be mad. Don't be mad? How can I not be mad when my precious car is now damaged because of your incompetence? But it's just a scratch. We can fix it together. Fix it together? No one help am I letting you touch my car again. You'll probably make things worse. Company! <laughs> Shut up, Plankton! This is between me and SpongeBob. Company! <laughs> Squidward, let's just calm down. Talk about this like 
like adults. You're the one who acts like a child all the time. And now look what happened because of your childish behavior. Company! <laughs> Scratches my gun. Looks like Count of Fire's got a deal with it. Shut up, SpongeBob. This is all your fault. Company! <laughs> I'm just enjoying the show. Bikini Bottom citizens, this is Perch Perkins reporting live from the Bikini Bottom News Studio. Tonight's top story is about health and wellness in our beloved town. In other health news, the Bikini Bottom Council for Commerce has issued a reminder to all ci- Yes it is. Who am I speaking with? Ah, uh, Hollow Squidward, what are your thoughts on the council's reminder? Are you kidding me? Weed and weed byproducts, that's all they care about. What about our mental health? Well, consuming we can actually have positive effects on our mental well-being. Oh, please, spare me your propaganda. I've been eating nothing but wheat for weeks now, and my life has only gotten worse. Can you elaborate on that, Squidward? My clarinet playing has gone down hell. My art isn't selling anymore. I even lost my job at the Krusty Krab because Mr. Krabs said I smell like a field of wheat. Well, perhaps you should try incorporating some other foods into your diet as well. No, it must be only wheat. The council says so. They control everything in this town. Um, well, let's move on to another topic, shall we? How do you feel about supporting local farmers and commodities conglomerates through consuming these products? Oh, yes. Let's support those who are controlling us with their evil grain. We're all just pawns in their game. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight, folks. Thank you, Squidward, for your unique perspective. Wheat and wheat byproducts by Bikini Bottom Citizens for Bikini Bottom Citizens in Bikini Bottom Citizens. Watching Bikini Bottom Citizens. And there you have it, folks. Remember to consume wheat and its byproducts in moderation. This is Perch Perkins signing off from the Bikini Bottom News Studio. Good night, everyone. <laughs>